Russian dynasty is not about to fade very soon. Tracy Wilson has the story. Everywhere they turn, Canadian Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz see Russians. Behind them is a history of Russian dominance in ice dancing, and ahead of them on the podium are two Russian ice dance teams. You know, I think it's been set in people's minds that Russians should be in first, and, and I think we're changing that because it's not true. Even when they're training in the mountains of upstate New York, Russians are never far away. That was good. But For the past two years, Born and Kratz have trained with Natalia Dubova, who coached her Russian teams to 16 Olympic and World Championship medals. Dubova immigrated to the West six years ago, and she credits Born and Kratz for rejuvenating her career. I love them. I spent lots of my time when I think about them. Victor and Shailene are uh, different than sure? other couples sure? with whom I prepare. They are more fresh people. They are more athletic people. Athleticism has never been a problem for Victor and Shailene. What they needed was some help with their style and someone to guide them through the often political world of ice dance judging. She knows how uh, Eastern uh, coaches are coaching other teams and how the judges look at skaters from the West. In ice dancing, judgment is a more worse thing than any other type of the skating. And especially you against with a Russian dominant ice dancing couple, you need to be uh, two step higher. In order to be two steps higher, Born and Kratz are taking ballet lessons for the first time from another Russian, of course. Unlike many teams, Shailen and Victor rarely socialize outside of the rink. We probably spend about eight hours a, in a day together, so you need to re-energize and get away. Shailen re-energizes by spending time with her friends. Come out here and play golf or watch movies, lots of things. We don't get into trouble, but we have a good time. And taking up a new hobby. We're going to give it a shot anyways. <laughs> Meanwhile, Victor has been relishing the stability of training in one place and buying his first new set of wheels. The truck I own is, is the second most valuable thing I have. The first, of course, are my skates. An Olympic medal is well within their grasp, and Natalia knows how to pave the way to the podium. Coach must compete with the skaters, must be more calm than skaters. Coach, need to protect skaters. Born and Kratz are already champions to their fellow Canadians, and with Natalia's help, they're ready to win over the rest of the world. <laughs>